Alright, so part 18 of Ocarina of Time. Let's do this. So, last video we finished up the Forest Temple. Um, in this video, we're mainly just gonna do a few side quests, and then I'll. Then, next video, we'll just head into the Fire Temple. <clears throat> so, let's see here. So where we're going to be heading off to is to Kakariko Village. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and, and with Epona now, we can actually use the arrows while riding Epona, the fairy bow or whatever. Like, using that while riding Epona. But anyways, and let's head into Kakariko Village. Now, a couple things I should probably point out is the music... Um, is slightly different depending on who you're coming in as. Um, if you're coming as uh, as young Link or adult Link, the music um, will sound slightly different depending on which one of the two you're coming in with. So that's something I thought I'd like point out. So, anyways, we're gonna head in here. No, no, we're not gonna head in here because that's a little too bizarre to do for us to deal with right now. Yeah, we don't need a potion potions shop. Like I said, I kind of was screwing around because I didn't know where I was supposed to go. I was trying to find the the shooting gallery here in this village and I couldn't find it anywhere. And yeah, another stinking potion shop. Really don't need to be going in there. see so I'm just gonna head up here yeah I'm still recording this video during the daytime so you're probably still gonna be seeing my my camera reflection again not really much I can do about that even with the blinds closed it wasn't really enough to prevent it but yeah all right, but here we are at last. Finally found the shooting gallery. Sure. Now, this took me a few attempts, but um, quite honestly, I should have probably just cut this out, but I didn't. Basically, what you want to do is try to get all the rupees, kind of like last time. Instead of using a fairy slingshot, you're using fairy the fairy bow. Um, which I think honestly it is more easier using the fairy the fairy bow, but let's just be honest, I wasn't really wasn't easy for me. Yeah, I mean because like it wasn't really that difficult trying to control it. Because I think the way Link aims it in this case, is a little bit different than how he does in his younger stage when he uses the slingshot. Okay, so... Good thing they give you more than 10 rupees, so that... or... Uh, arrows, so that kind of works out. Yep, I messed up here. I mean, really, at this point, I probably should have just gone on it ahead and just called it quits. Right, but anyways, um... Yeah, just shoot that, and then... Alright, I think I actually got it this time. There we go. Yep. After all that, you'll get the big quiver, which will let you carry up to 40 arrows. There is one part later in the game where you can upgrade to 50, but I will not be upgrading the 50 arrows just because um, the thing that you have to do to get it is so difficult that even I just eventually uh, gave up on it. 
So I went in here to see, like, if there were... If there was any rewards I could get in here, and yeah, there was nothing in here. So, I left, and... Yeah, I was trying to see if I could get up to 500 rupees, but... Yeah, I didn't destroy enough gold skatulas to do that. So, that'll be after the fire temple, then I come back and, and get the, the upgrade. So if you come in this house, you'll see the... You'll see talons in here. And yeah, you can't really wake them up, but the only way you do that is you gotta get one of the cuckoos or chickens or whatever you want to call them. So just come over here. Just talk to her. borrow this cuckoo egg and then uh, so what we're gonna do um, we're gonna kind of just fast forward through time and just play Sun song until the egg hatches cuz yeah day and night thing doesn't change unless you're outside the village and I'm too lazy to wait outside Hyrule field for the thing to change Today or night, so yep, there we go. Now here at this part, I was being really stupid and didn't realize I needed to take the the cuckoo over to Talon. Yeah, I wasn't really wanting to talk to you, but okay. So yeah, I was being really stupid here because yeah, I wasn't like I tried showing the the cuckoo to. Yeah, I tried showing it to her, and for some reason it wasn't working. Yeah, like, it didn't come to me that I needed to bring the cuckoo to Talon. Yeah, it wasn't until, like, right about there that I found, that I realized, oh, shit, I need to show it to Talon. So, yeah, well, part of me wasn't really so sure if I had to, but I did it anyways just to kind of see, like, if it would work. And sure enough, it did. Um, no. You don't belong in this village, so get the hell out of here and back to your fucking ranch, you idiot. Okay, so now that that bullshit's done, now we can continue on our way. <laughs> Alright, so now we can bring the cuckoo to, to her. Yeah, I got that. Uh, no, this is not really mine. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, thanks? Cool. Sure, actually, yeah, I'm going to need this guy later in the game, so I'm actually going to keep this uh, cuckoo with me. Not right now, but later on. So let's see, I'm gonna put that back with the hook shot. So I think at this point there's not much else left to do in this village. Anything else that I would have to do, I have to come back as young Link, so um, after the fire temple is done, I will be coming back. I'm at some point to do some stuff that you can only do as young Link, so... Yeah, you're gonna be traveling through time, like, you're gonna be traveling, um, back and forth through time, so you're gonna be traveling through some parts as adult Link and some parts as young Link, so... Yeah, there's really not much else for me to do until I go back and do some stuff as young Link. So we're just gonna head up the Death Mountain Trail. Alright, then we're gonna head 
up here. So let's see. Um, so at this point, we're just making our way to Goron City. Um, so over here. Oh, yeah. This was something I could have done as Young Link, but I never got a chance to. Because I kept forgetting. If you use a bomb, you can blow that thing up. And it was actually a good thing I waited till now, because, yeah, you can just open this treasure chest and... Surprise, surprise, you get 50 rupees in there. I probably should have just waited until I got the upgrade, but that's okay, because... Yeah, as you can see, I eventually maxed out my rupees again. I'll probably more than likely max them out even once I get to 500, so it probably won't matter. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm blowing these rocks up. Because honestly, I don't think it'll do me any good. Basically now we gotta stop this uh, Goron from trying to... from rolling. And this one's a bit of a smart one, like it tends to run away like if you get close to it. So what you gotta do is you gotta throw a bomb. I actually was lucky enough to get it the first time. Oh wait, no. I didn't get it. <laughs> He got close, but it wasn't close enough for me to use the bomb on him. Uh, maybe now I can get him? Oh, that's right, because I accidentally threw that other bomb out. Um, no, I think you got yourself mistaken for a different Link. Uh, yeah. <laughs> really? I mean, I guess it's a cool name. Uh, how about no? I don't sign autographs, okay? Just, just piss off, man. <laughs> I guess we really will have to do something about that now, won't we? Yeah, tell us about that dragon. Basically, you have to select all of those two, but yeah, we're gonna start with the dragon. Uh-huh. Alright, what's next? What do you want to ask this little lad? I want to ask about the Gorons. So here we're gonna get a Goron tunic, which, yep, basically it's a heat-resistant tunic since apparently the one that Link has is nothing but rubbish when it comes to heat. So what we're gonna do now is just equip it. Honestly, don't even know why Link needs this crap in the first place. Like, why? Why does he need many different tunics? I mean. I guess the different colors is nice, because green kind of just gets a little old after a while, but still. Alright, so what you're going to do is... Uh, 
really don't need to get rupees here, but okay. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna pull this back, and then it'll give you, it'll take you to the entrance to the Death Mountain Crater. Although there was another entrance to it, um, I never did show it because I didn't, I couldn't come in here before as Young Link because apparently the tunic that we got is only adult size. There's no um, kid size tunic, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. Yeah, now that we have the Goron tunic, we won't be having to deal with some stupid timer telling us that um, we can only be here for a certain amount of time and all that crap. These rocks you actually can't blow up with the bombs, so we're going to have to come back here later when we get the item that we need. So for now, let's just use our hook shot and hook shot onto that piece of wood. Here we encounter a cutscene. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> sure, I mean, I kind of need to know this song if I want to come back here again as, uh, as Young Link. You might think that these songs are really pointless, but no, it really isn't. Because the, these aren't just ordinary songs, and yeah, I kept screwing up here trying to play the stinking song, but yeah, these songs here are not very pointless because... Um, within it, you can actually teleport to these areas. Like, this song here will allow us to come back here again. Like, teleport and all that stuff as Young Link. Because there's some certain areas of the Death Mountain Crater that you can only um, you come back to as Young Link unless you have this song. And like I said, I'm not really going to be... Um, or I'm going to be... a uh, needing to come back here again as Young Link because there's some areas that I need to that I need him at okay so I think for the most part that ends up being basically the end of this video um I checked to see if there was anything down there and I really didn't think there is but yeah, that basically ends up being the end of this video. So next video, we're going to be heading into the Fire Temple. And until then, this is Luigi Rocks 2014 signing out. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you all for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And also, do not, don't forget to join the Discord in the, that's in the description box below. And I'll see you all next time.